Hello there, I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I am going to show you some very easy ways to quickly convert fractions to decimals in Excel. So let's see what these are. So let's start with a very simple example. Here I have this data and if you select this cell that shows the fraction, you will notice that in the formula bar, it shows me the decimal value. This means that I just need to change the format of the cell because the cell already has the decimal value. It's just that it has been formatted in such a way that it shows the fraction. So to do this, I'm going to select these cells, then go to the home tab. And here in the number group, I have this drop down. As of now, you can see it says fraction. So I'm going to change this to general. And as soon as, as I do that, it is going to give me these values in decimal. Now here I have this data set and these values, these fractions are not decimal values in the back end. These are actually text values. Now this could be the case when you get this data from a web page or a database or someone has manually entered them. Now to convert these fractions into decimals, I'm going to use a formula and the formula is going to use two new Excel functions text after and text before. Now these are new functions that are available in Excel with Microsoft 365 and Excel on the web. So if you're using the new version, you can use this method. If you're using an older version, then you can use the next method that also uses a very simple formula. So now here in this case, I'm going to use the text before function first and the text is this and the delimiter before which I want to extract all the text is the forward slash. And if I do that, you can see it gives me the number. Now there could be the number, there could be a couple of spaces, but that is okay. Excel is going to handle it. So this is the part that is before uh, the, the forward slash. Now I'm going to just put a forward slash here and then use the text after function where again, I'm going to use a2 and then delimiter. Now I have this forward slash here and before the forward slash is going to be text before function that gives me the value which is going to be 17 and text after is going to give me the value after the forward slash which is going to be 76. So now this is going to give me those numbers while this is still a text value Excel is smart enough to realize that I'm using these as numbers so it is going to do the calculation. See what happens when I put enter it gives me these values and I can drag this down. So this works. Now if you're using an older version of Excel and you do not have access to text before before and text after function, then you can use the left and right function. So first I'm going to use the find function and in the find function, I'm going to find the position of the forward slash. So I'm going to put forward slash in double quotes and then I'm going to find this within this text. Now what this gives me is the position of forward slash. Now this means that I need to extract everything before the third character and after the third character. And this is where I can use the left and the right function. So let me copy this part and then use the left function. Now within left function, this is my text and I need to extract everything before the forward slash. So I would put the position that I found and I would subtract one because I don't want to extract the forward slash. I want to extract everything before it. So now when I hit enter, you can see it gives me 17. And again, I can use the same formula, but instead of left, I'm going to make it right so that it extracts everything after the forward slash. So here I have the left formula, which gives me 17 in this case, then I'm going to put a forward slash to divide this. And then I'm going to use the same formula, but instead of left, I'm going to make this right. And now when I hit enter, you can see it again gives me this decimal value. Now both text before text after and left right function, these work really well, but there is one problem. If in case you have mixed fractions, for example, in this case, let's say after before a one by four, I have something like three one by four. Now, if I hit enter here, it is going to give me the value error because as of now, it doesn't understand what the number is before the forward slash. Now, obviously I can construct a more complicated formula that is going to handle these mixed fractions, but there is another way in Excel using a less known function that can handle these cases very nicely. So here again, I have this data set and I'm going to use an Excel function called evaluate. Now evaluate is a function that you will not find in the worksheet. If I type uh, the function, you'll see that I do not get the name in the IntelliSense. And the reason for this is because this is an old macro four function. This function cannot be used in the worksheet, but it still exists and it can be used in the named range. Now the evaluate function does one very simple thing. If you give it any expression, it is going to evaluate and give you the result, something which is perfect in our scenario. So what I'm going to do is construct the formula here in the worksheet, then copy this formula in the named range and then use the name range. So let me show you how it works. So first I'm going to try and create something that will allow me to refer to these cells on the left. So I'm going to use the address function where I would use row 
and column. Now, if I just use this part of the formula, it is going to give me the address of the cell where I've used the formula, which is B2 in this case. If I put it here, it will give me B3. But I want to refer to the cell which is on the left because my fractions are on the left and I want the result on the column which is on the right. So here I'm going to put column minus one. So it gives me A2. But because I want to refer to this and not just get the address, I'm going to put this within the indirect function. Now what this does is it allows me, although you see the result here, but what this part of the formula does is it allows me to refer to that cell on the left and then I will be able to use this in the evaluate function. So now I have this part here and finally I'm going to put everything within the evaluate function. Now obviously as I told you, you cannot use this function in the worksheet. So let me copy this first and let me show you what happens if I hit enter. It tells me the function isn't valid, but I can use it in name range. So let's remove everything. I have copied the function. Now I'm going to go to the formulas tab and here I would click on define name. Now here I'm going to define a name. Let's call it fraction to decimal, so FTD. And here I'm going to paste the formula. And now when I click OK, my named range has been created. Now see the magic. Here, I would come to this cell and I would type this named range that I created. You can see the named range appears in the IntelliSense. When I double click on it and I hit enter, it gives me the result. And what's happening in this case is when I enter the name range, it, it goes to the cell on the left and then it uses the evaluate function to evaluate whatever is there in this cell. So I can copy and I can drag this down. But remember I told you that this is going to be able to handle mixed references. So in this case, for example, if I come here and I put three, one by four and I hit enter, you can see it can handle it. So while text before text after function or the left, right and find a combination of function cannot handle mixed references on its own, evaluate can. So this is a good function to use if this is something you need to use quite often. Now the thing with evaluate function is that it is a macro function, which means that when you are using this function, you will have to save this file as a macro enabled file with .xlsm extension. If you do not do that, you are going to lose this function. So the name range would be gone. So make sure that you save this file as a macro enabled file. So these are the methods you can use in Excel to quickly convert fractions to decimals. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.